Hey guys, this is Soul Patrol Jedi once again for Jedi Net Reviews. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that's been on my mind for a while. And recently, in probably the past week, I've seen you know quite a few stories pop up. The uh, athletes that just seem to not be able to shut their mouths or you know be just just can't seem to stay out of trouble. Now, um, I don't really consider athletes to be role models per se, but you know when you're in that much of a national spotlight as you know the NBA players and NFL and any type of league, you need to conduct yourself in a certain manner, professionalism. You know, I understand you got to you know you have a lot of money, you want to spend money, you want to go out, you don't want to stay home and cooped up and stuff all the time. But you need to make wise decisions what you do with your time, who you have around you, who you trust with your money, who your friends are, and all that kind of stuff. Now, I don't know exactly when the earliest uh what's the word? The earliest incident happened, but you know, it's it's been really reported in the last few years. I mean, it's it's really it's really gotten to the point where it's ridiculous how many athletes you see getting into trouble. And I think that the main issue is well, there there is no main issue, but it can break down into several simple things. One is is money. That's the main root. When people have money, they they tend to act a certain way and they tend to overindulge in a certain way. Two. The way, which is fueled by the money, their attitude and their ego, you know, and three, you know, they're like a like a prima donna type thing, you know, like, you know, they they have to have things just they have to have things a certain way, and it's got to be this, and it's got to be that, and it's blah 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 blah, blah etc cetera, etc cetera, stuff like that. Now the most recent one actually just happened, and it was uh, it was uh, it was one that popped up on YouTube, you uh, Yahoo, excuse me, um. Clinton Portis was benched by his coach. He plays for the Washington Redskins. He's a pretty talented player. But he was benched by his coach on Sunday. And um, he is atta- basically he went on a verbal assault in phys- not physically, but verbally attacked his coach. You don't attack your coach. You don't speak bad about your team. That really undermines, you know, the whole the whole player coach aspect you know the coach is in charge you know you play the game he runs the game that's how it's supposed to work now if he says sit your ass on the damn bench i don't care what reason it's for you sit your ass on the damn bench and you shut your fucking mouth you got that it's not that hard you know and like i said you see this more and more every day uh plexigo barris plexigo burris how do you pronounce the name place for the giants He's been in trouble several times the last couple of years. He keeps arguing with Tom Coughlin, the coach, the coach, you know, about about all kinds of bullshit. Now, you know, I'm not getting the ball, and oh, I'm not going to play, and you know, he didn't show up to practice. Um, he decided to take his kids to school or something. Didn't tell anybody. Like I said, it all goes back to the arrogance thing. You know, you have a responsibility. You have a responsibility, and you're getting paid millions of dollars. To play, to play a game that, you know, kids play. You know, it's obviously not that type of level, but you're getting paid millions and millions of dollars in endorsements de- endorsement deals, uh, uh, blah, 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 what's that say? Endorsement deals, um, oh, shit. Bonuses, your salary, your list stuff, you know. And you're getting based on your, you get pay, paid on your basis of your performance or whatever it is. But, you know, it, it pisses me off that, Somebody can have such a just a fucking. You know, I I want to do. I'm gonna do whatever I want, and I'm gonna make million dollars of doing it. If somebody like me did that to their boss, they would be fired. And tell you what, I can make. I make a far lot, 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 a lot less than the millions of dollars a year they're making, and they get away with a lot of shit. Um, and if you if you didn't hear this, uh, the most recent incident besides Clinton Portis one was that um. Plexigo Barris shot himself with the gun that he wasn't even supposed to have. <sighs> you see, I'll go back and I'll say it again. You need to watch what you do if you're anybody, 
But if you're a high-profile athlete like that, a Super Bowl champion like Plesko Barris is, you know, with the Giants from last year, you know, you you got to behave yourself and you got to stop doing stupid shit. I think the biggest example, obviously, would be Michael Vick. And that's because he got so arrogant and just think he can do whatever he wanted that he got busted for the dog fighting ring, which is a video I'm going to talk about another time because I'm not going to go into detail because I'm going to get start getting very angry because I'm a dog lover, okay? Now, like I said, money combined, money leads to arrogance. Arrogance leads to stupid decisions. And then, you know, you have a bad attitude and combine all that stuff and it's, it's, it's a disaster. Um, you see a lot of things like professional athletes who, are, who have been getting, um, like, held up in gunpoint and robbed at, um, uh, what's the word, at strip clubs and whatnot. You know, and they're going in there in their fancy cars and they're going there in their jewelry and their what, you know, they're all the fancy jewelry and shit the athletes wear. And, you know, of course they're going to be a target because people recognize who they are. Um, and of course, you know, one of the, one of the biggest divas in all of fo uh, sports would be, uh, what's his name? Bleh. What's his name? I can't remember his name right now. Oh yeah. Terrell, Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens is the biggest diva athlete I've ever seen. So much drama. Every single team he goes to, it's all about me, 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 me. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. You yeah, yeah, just complain, 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 and not, you know, he, he's a hell of a player, but he doesn't know when to shut his fucking mouth, you know? He left, you know, in, in when he was in San Francisco, he called, I can't remember who they're, they're Je he called Jeff Garcia, his main quarterback, he, he questioned his sexuality, and you don't understand how these players undermine a team, you know, with their, with their arrogance and their greed. Now, um... Like I said, he, he messed up San Francisco. He left that place in shambles. That still not recovering. He fucked up Philadelphia when he went there. Yeah, he got them to, you know, the championship game that year. But then he went back to his fucking attitude and arguing with Donovan McNabb. And then he was pretty basically released midway through the season. And, you know, they fucked up their season because he couldn't eat. They had a good thing going, but he just couldn't keep his mouth shut. You understand what I'm saying? And... You know, I, I could go on and on. You know, the the Michael Vick flipping off thing. Um, one of their players from the um, the Detroit Lions, their center. I cannot remember his name. He's a lower profile player. He's their center. He um, he flipped off the crowd. You know, there's kids in the crowd and stuff. Okay, and they look up to you, man. Seriously. You know, if if not for the money, you know, it, it's it's about setting the example. You know, those kids look at you, and they, they, the kids play, kids play football, the kids play baseball. Um, oh, yeah, Manny Ramirez being an asshole, you know, not being able to shut his mouth, too. Um, you know, kids look up to the, the players, and they're like somebody they want to idolize and somebody they want to be. And when you see players doing stupid things, I know, I know I've mentioned only the NFL, but I'll go into further detail on this. Um, Kobe Bryant is another example. You know, the whole... The whole rape thing and cheating on his wife and all that. That was a big incident. Uh, Shaq. Shaq's, Shaq's been an asshole and fucked up several teams he's been on. He fucked the Miami Heat. He did good with uh, he did go with the Lakers, but he couldn't keep his mouth shut there. Um, and it, it gets to the point where you're just... You don't even watch anymore because they're all their antics and they're all their showboating. Like Terrell Owens doing his stupid end zone dances. They're funny once, but you seem to keep doing it. It's like, do you do you practice more on your end zone dances, or do you practice more on you know, you know, actually running your routes and remembering your routes and you know training and stuff to become an athlete? Whoops, sorry, dropped the microphone. Sorry about that. I said I dropped the microphone. Um, I'm gonna get into this part two because I have a lot more to talk about. And there's obviously I'm running out of time here, so I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, stay for stay. Look forward to part two.